Police officers fired after an internal investigation found he used excessive force during an arrest. It's a new case against Officer Brian Richter. You may remember him from a previous excessive force case. In 2016, this video of the violent arrest of Breon King led to a lawsuit. Dash cam video showed Richter forcing King out of a car, then throwing her to the ground. Richter kept his job after that complaint, but things could be different this time. Brittany Glass is live at APD headquarters with details. Brittany. Robert, Sydney, that's exactly right. This incident is completely separate from the King case. In fact, it involves two officers, Officer Brian Richter and APD Detective Stephen McCurley. Now, their terminations come in response to an arrest they made in July of last year. According to a city memo, neither APD officer reported their use of force to a supervisor on scene the day it happened. It wasn't until the next day that Officer Richter reported it. But video taken from APD's helicopter flying over the scene showed inconsistencies with Richter's story. Rather than focusing on this case, though, Police Chief Brian Manley shifted the focus this afternoon to a new de-escalation policy at APD, one he says will increase the community's trust in his department. One of the criteria that our supervisors will now consider when they're reviewing that use of force to ensure that it was reasonable and within policy was whether or not there were opportunities to de-escalate, and if there were, whether the officer used de-escalation tactics. Chief Manley says officers have been using de-escalation practices for years, but it's never been part of official APD policy until now. As for Officer Richter and Detective McCurley, their case is still under review by the Travis County DA's office, and they are expected to appeal the disciplinary decision. Now, we spoke with Breon King's attorney this afternoon. I'll have her reaction to Officer Richter's termination tonight at 10. Reporting live in downtown Austin at APD headquarters, Brittany Glass, KXAN News.